Hi, Les from Thailand here, from Retired and Living the Dream. And today's video is Thailand, is it over before it begins? Now, I've lived here in Thailand now for 10 years and I do many things on my channel about people come to live here in Thailand, retire and visit Thailand on various visas and I have workarounds for most things with regard to visa entry here in Thailand. And I've had a lot of emails over the past few months with regard to the STV visas, the OVs, the OA visas, countless emails. I give advice to people how they can work around some of the issues with regard to the visas. I'm always a positive person about the barriers placed in front of people with regard to Thailand at the minute, because at the end of the day, it is Thailand and it's up to them how they administer their entry requirements to here in Thailand. But on one hand, you hear the encouragement that they're given for tourists to come to Thailand. Thailand is open, they want thousands of tourists to come to Thailand. But on the other hand, you see all the restrictions that are coming in with regard to jumping through the hoops to get here into Thailand. And the latest one that I've heard, and this isn't very good at all, I can't take credit for finding this, it's Benjamin that actually put this onto his YouTube site. Now again, it's not widespread, it's only been one, from one consulate in America, but it certainly sends the alarm bells ringing to various people. And I, I don't want to scare people into thinking this is what's going to happen. It's the same with, with Benjamin. He doesn't want to scare people, but he just wants to make people aware of what's happening here in Thailand. So what is the information that Benjamin's put on onto YouTube? And again, I'll leave a link down below to his channel. He takes the credit for this because he, he found this information out. And basically, what they're asking for is an income of 100,000 baht per month. The income method at present is 65,000 baht a month, so that they're looking at increasing that to 100,000 baht a month. And the other method where you have a, a lump sum deposited in, into a Thai bank account, it was 800,000 baht. They're looking at raising that to 1.2 million. Now again, this is only hearsay at the minute, but it, it was found on some paperwork in a consulate in America somewhere. Again, watch the link in Benjamin's um, YouTube and he'll, he'll go through it better than me. It's his post, but again, maybe some people watch my channel but don't watch his channel, but it's, it's just another nail in the coffin for making it attractive for those people from all over the world want to come to live or retire in Thailand. The uncertainty that's going on. There's a new immigration officer that's taken over immigration services in Thailand. Now, you've heard the term new brush sweeps clean. I'm sure he's going to make some alterations with regard to people wanting to live and retire in Thailand. They're wanting tourists to come. But my goodness, the, the obstacles that people, I get it on a daily basis, the information that people have to go through and the failures of trying to apply to come to Thailand. And, and the last thing that I heard, there was over 65,000 applicants, but only 15,000 people were accepted. So 45,000 people were declined for one reason or another. Now, do you think them other 45,000 people are going to reapply or they're going to go somewhere different and try somewhere that's more easier? Okay, there's glitches with the with the method that the Thai government have, have started with regard to filling out their website and everything's downloadable, but it it's just another hoop that people have to jump through. And the more difficult it gets, the more people are going to turn away and go, and go somewhere else. Now, I always look on the positive side. So watch my other videos with regard to the visas and the STV visas, the workarounds of the various processes that you can do to help get you here in the first place. I can't help you with filling out the online forms because they change so frequently. And as I say, the information that I give you today, it might be totally different tomorrow. Um, the seven day period it takes. Now there's many people who are waiting till the fourth or the fifth day to get the information, leaving it very close because it's 72 hours. You've got to have a test before you fly. The time frame 
is so tight for most people to, to get through this system. And also there's the, the threat of if you get found with a positive result. Now again, it, it, there's another family, a nightmare has happened to the, to the family because he's been diagnosed with COVID and the rest of his family have to go into a quarantine hotel for 10 days or so. So that's just added thousands and thousands of dollars onto their holiday experience, not the experience that they wanted to come to a, a far off country of Thailand from wherever they came from. So this is the risk that you're taking also. I believe that on the latest tourists from November the 1st onwards, there's been over 10 people found with a positive test result of COVID. Now the information hasn't come out yet with regard to if that one person on the plane had COVID, does the rest of the plane full have to go into quarantine? For instance, if you're on a 12 hour flight from England to Thailand, and you're on the plane for 12 hours with the person who's got COVID in the first place, are you going to be told to go into quarantine? This is just going to add a lot of money onto your holiday vacation to start off with. So is it worth taking the risk? For what I can see over here, the situation seems to be getting worse than getting better. Europe, the case rates are going up. In England, the case rates are going up. So. Are these countries going to be taken off the safe list? And with the numbers going up all the time, who's going to say that these lists are going to be reduced and your country that you might be coming from might be on the list to decline entry into Thailand whilst you are going through this? So there's a big, big period of uncertainty, not just here in Thailand, but the rest of the world. So this was just a short video with regard to Thailand is it over before it begins? I don't like to be negative, but it's hard to find some positivity in what's going on at, at the present. So for those people who are trying to get to Thailand, good luck with it. I hope you succeed and I hope your holiday is the holiday that you dreamed of. So from Les, retired and living the dream. Till the next video, bye for now.